I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard I wish I had a better voice to sing some better words I wish I found some chords in an order that is new I wish I didn't have... Alright, gonna do another one here. Uh, this one's gonna be on a 2-inch brass tube. It's called a paintbrush spay. And we're just gonna line our 2-inch brass with cherry red uh, Scandinavian tubing, small diameter. So we'll just line it and melt the end. Okay, so we got that nice lip. Pull it forward. Okay, and we'll cut. We'll cut maybe just about half an inch in front. All right. Get this onto our pin. Squeeze it on like normal, like we usually do, I should say. All right, I'm gonna use red thread today. And with any tube that's been lined, you want to make a nice little bump. Make sure that your metal and your plastic are one tube and they're not gonna slip around on you. All right, this is called a paintbrush spay and it's, it's by no means any kind of traditional spay fly, uh, just for lack of a better name, um, we use a lot of heron in the front of the fly, so it's got this kind of space style as far as long fibers go. Uh, but we're going to start with the rear hackle. It's going to be yellow badger. And basically this fly is segmented into three different hackles. Uh, if you've seen our trio blue spay on the site, that's it's kind of that same style. So we're going to wind on the yellow hackle right at the back here. And when I first came up with this pattern, I used uh, uh, just a regular yellow hackle. I like the badger better now. Not sure why. I think it's just the two tone effect. In fact, we're going to put two on because this is a pretty long fly. Second badger hackle. Now, this fly really is not hard to tie. It's one of those flies where it's just basically two steps and you just do it over again into three different sections. Okay, so you got the yellow hackle. And what we'll do is we're just going to pull back. Just get it to lay down a little bit, okay, just so it's not sticking straight up in the air. Okay, and then a really easy material. We're just going to use a gold uh, chenille. And we're going to wrap that forward. So that's our rear section done now. We have a middle section, and this time we're going to go not yellow, but we're going to go orange. Okay, and for this one, for the orange, I'm going to go with a regular straight orange. Uh, this is a big Chinese neck, so so that the hackle is a little bit bigger than the yellow. So we want to almost build this fly so it's got a, a shape that gets higher, higher as we go forward. And then the front hackle, of course, is going to be spay hackle, so it's really going to be it's going to be higher, and it's also going to kind of flow over the rest of the fly. As you can see, this this orange is much bigger than the yellow. We'll try one, see what it looks like. If it, if it's uh, bulky enough, we'll stick with one. If not, we can add another. And you can see the orange is quite a bit bigger than the yellow. Now, we're, we're probably making a fly much bigger than it needs to be. Uh, I think I'm doing it mostly just because of the video. But uh, a two inch brass tube, this could end up being a very big fly. Which may be what you're after. 
Okay, again, we're gonna lay down that orange a little bit. So we got the rear yellow, we got the gold, we got the front orange. And I'm sure you can probably guess the next step, more chenille. If you're familiar with the original paintbrush fly, it's uh, it has the yellow, orange, blue, uh, and it's it's a lot of hair on that fly too. Uh, we've just kind of switched it up a little bit, opened it up a little bit, um, but definitely it, we had <laughs> we had a fantastic fly as motivation kind of when we thought about this version. All right, so there you go. We've got the yellow, the orange. Next, of course, is going to be your your blue and purple section. Um, Now I'm going to switch the feather type here again. Uh, we had Badger Hackle, then we had Chinese Neck, uh, which is bigger. Now we're going to go even bigger. This is going to be, uh, this is actually bronze schloppen. And it's bronze schloppen that's been dyed blue. So it's got that kind of really shiny look. But most importantly, it's going to have the really big barbs to kind of match up, if not be bigger than that orange. So we're going to find one that's, that's really big on size. There we go. And this stuff, because it's dyed over brown, it's pretty dark stuff. Uh, you'll see the hints of blue coming through, but the blue and purple look will really come through when we add the the hair in here. Okay, so you can see it's a very dark blue. And because this is schlopping, yeah, it's going to stick a little bit. Fibers are going to kind of mat together a little bit, which is okay. And I have to be honest, I've never tied this on a two-inch tube before. This this thing's going to be massive. But you can see, that's the look we're going for. Where the yellow was smaller, the orange was a bit bigger, the blue is even a little longer. Alright, so you can see three definite sections. Now we're going to have some fun with the spay feathers. if I can find them. Actually, you know, before we do that, we're going to go on because yeah, I know the original paintbrush had a Silver Doctor look to it. So we're going to add, this is just regular schlopping. We're going to add Silver Doctor schlopping too to the front just to give it that more traditional look and this stuff's pretty big too now it's definitely looking more like a paintbrush Okay, at this point we're going to add some gray heron. This is some uh, large gray heron, not the extra large. And we're going to go with silver doctor blue. I'm going to pull it in from the tip. And this is where the spay part comes. Again, not a true spay, but you're adding the long heron to kind of give it that spay look. Okay, so there's the Silver Doctor Blue. Okay, and then we're going to go in with an extra large purple.
you can see this feather's much bigger. Same thing though, we're gonna pull in from the from the tip. Just try and pull the fibers back as you go. paintbrush look now. Okay, we're going to finish this fly with a collar of teal. I love this Silver Doctor teal. I'm try and find one of the bigger feathers. There we go. Okay. And like I said, teal is a collar. Just, I don't know, I think it looks great. It kind of hides those butt ends of the hair in too that can get kind of big. You know, you can throw a wing on this. Uh, we have before. I don't think I'm going to today. Actually, no. Let's put a wing on it. Since I've got it here. I'm going to put a real simple uh, feather wing in using Badger. Measure four feathers up like I usually do for uh, for any kind of streamer. Yeah, I like that wing. It kind of just tucks everything in. And we'll wrap it up with some jungle cock. And uh, this, I did not stick to my original recipe from years ago. Um, changed things up a little bit here, but I like it. Right. There it is. 
Hey, Rush Bay. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. smell will take me back to when I was young how come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from I'd make a candle out of it if I ever found it try to sell it never sell out of it I probably only sell one if it's in my brother because we have the same nose same clothes homegrown a stone's throw from a creek we used to roam but it would remind us of when nothing really mattered out of student loans and treehouse homes we all would take the ladder